Hi guys, it's Hansel Love for Life, and today I'm going to be telling you what's a good travel cage and what's a good cage for day to day. So first, the travel cage. So right here, I have a KT Chrono Trail cage, and all you need is a little water bottle to move for the really, you know, like it, and it's just, it's, it's really small, but it's good for longer travels. Um, and it's kind of sad to me that some people actually use this as like their day to day cage because it is really tiny. Like, it, it's really tiny. Uh, I can't even explain what tiny it is. Like, here, here's Hammy's tube and here's the cage. That's kind of sad. I mean, sure, if you had like five of them. But I don't think you'd want to do that. I think you'd rather just get a big tank. But this is good for long distance travel because they it's like big enough, but it's not for day to day. Now on to day to day cages. You might want to get a, a big tank for them. The minimum is 360 square inches, which for a tank I think is 20 gallons. I think, and um, this is good, good cage stuff so that your hamster has enough room to burrow, run around, and go crazy. And you can get a reptile one, which I have because it's 20 gallon and it comes with this thing. You can also get a fish tank and then buy like a top ventilation. I wonder where Hammy is in her bathtub. I'm not going to disturb her because it is daytime and as you, may, as you know hamsters are nocturnal and I will give you a cage tour when I'm done with this video so um, thank you so much for watching. Bye!